we've known for some time now that a new, mid-sized Triumph Street triple was on the way. But, when we didn't see it this November, we assumed that something must have held it up and we'd see it as a 2018 model. God, I love being wrong sometimes. And I hate being wrong. The Facts Triumph is hosting a live launch event in London, 700 p.m. GMT 1100 and PST for a yet-to-be-announced naked sport bike that has headlights mirroring those on their street speed triple. Something they claim will be a game-changer and tear up the rule books and set benchmarks for power, weight, handling, and looks. What we've heard hope it will be called the Street Triple 800, get a displacement bump to 765cc, a slipper clutch, the lights from the Speed Triple, a TFT dash, and upgraded electronics suite. What it could be Triumph is also updating the current Street Triple with a 675cc motor, which I've heard rumors is also getting a new screen and new electronics. What it should be both a new Street Triple 675 and Street Triple 800, because we've been good this year, we deserve it, and because it would turn the middleweight sport naked category into one of the most exciting categories in all motorcycling. The competition, the Yamaha FZ09 and Ducati's Monster 821 have had the space all to themselves for far too long. The Yamaha has a ton of potential, but cost-cutting and a lack of development in a few areas suspension, fueling leave it falling flat for me I'd prefer the FZ07. I actually love the Monster 821, or the motor and handling at least, but it's on the bigger side and doesn't exactly come with some of the benefits that a smaller bike should. Many would include the current Street Triple 675 in this category as well, but its smaller motor needs to be revved higher to access the power, which in my opinion makes it better for track and sport riding, but not quite as fun for street wear having more lower is appreciated. Then there's the Suzuki GSX S750 and Kawasaki's new Z900. Personally, I can't stand the Suzuki the 1000 is really nice though, and the Kawasaki, while it makes fewer mistakes, just ISNT is good or exciting. The current street actually still wins many most comparisons, and both Bradley and Don Migotos when it comes to this stuff say it's their favorite by far. A move to 800 is more about future-proofing and planting their flag in this segment, since an update was needed for Euro 4 and the segment has been getting more and more attention and because the general package of the Yamaha is resonating with people so well. Regardless of what happens, you can bet we're real excited for January 10th and what Triumph is bringing to the table. The supposed Street Triple 800 and KTM's new 790 Duke were at the top of our wish lists and, while I love the current crop of 1000cc 1200cc super nakeds, this category is much more interesting because it should be so much more accessible and cold should allow for more svelte bikes that will actually be more fun for more people in more settings. See you on January 10th.